Running tubeless on the road is becoming ever more popular, so we wanted to put some of the most popular sealants to the test and see how they perform to find out which really is the king. Stefan, how are we going to do this and how are we going to make sure we keep it fair? So, the uh, first thing I have to say is that we are going to be using a Schwalbe Pro One tie in a 28mm width and uh, that's going to be mounted on a Zip 303 wheel and so the pressure that we're going to be going up to is um, only about 70 psi because that, that's the limit with the ETRTO standards. The procedure is going to be uh, we've got six screwdrivers is going up from one millimeter to seven millimeters and we'll be punching the tire and giving it a spin seeing how the sealant seals and basically i'm going going up the sizes until the tire isn't able to hold 70 psi anymore perfect i think we get into the first sealant and i think the first one we're going to go for is the new silka one now the silka sealant here is actually one of the ones that i'm most excited about because it is fairly new and the cool thing about this one is that it incorporates carbon fibers into the sealant itself now they call this a foaming latex formula and the idea behind that is that it's going to coat the whole inside of the tire and as you're pedaling and as you're riding it's going to distribute those carbon fibers over the inside of the tire really really well now when you are riding and if you do get a puncture then those carbon fibers are going to clog and clot at that puncture source and as you ride more and if you break that mold more carbon fiber will then rush to there so actually as you ride it more and more around a puncture the area only gets more reinforced exactly and particularly for um, road tires and the higher pressures uh, silica say that if you break um, that barrier then um, it will like, drop down the pressure but then the, um, the fibers will agree seal and then you'll be able to go up above the, uh, the pressure and, and so subsequently kind of like build up the pressures that and the tire is able able to hold so maybe starting at 40 and then breaking and then going up to 50 and so uh, getting yourself back up to um, those road pressures which is basically what you want for road as well so um, we're going to get this in and we're going to start stabbing it at one millimeter and we'll see how it performs oh that was a bit of air. yeah Oh, there we go. There we go. And then this is this is gonna squirt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pick them everywhere. Spit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? It's what? <laughs> That's just incredible. So next up, we have the nation's favorite Stan's tire sealant. Um, we're expecting this to do fairly well because, I mean, most people do use this stuff. Yeah, it's uh, got a pretty good reputation. It, yeah, it claims that it can seal up to um, 6.5 millimeters, um, but at an unspecified um, uh, pressure. And so whether it's referring to gravel pressures or road pressures, um, that's left undefined. Well, I think there's only one way to find out. So um, let's get it in and let's start stabbing this tire. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a squirt. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, it's not doing shit up for, is it? No. It's just raining sealant. All right, so next up we have got the Effetto Mariposa Vegelatex, probably one of the more niche sealants that are out there. And actually it's quite oily in the way it looks in the bottle, so it's, it's a little bit of a strange one. What do they claim about this sealant? Um, what should we expect? Uh, well, yeah, the main thing about this with Vegelatex in the name is that um, I've to, uh, tried to be sort of make a more biodegradable, a bit more natural a sealant, and that's um, hypoallergenic, because um, with the latex-based um, sealants, uh, people with latex allergies, uh, uh, the claim is that it'll seal up to five millimeters at uh, low pressures, gravel pressures, and uh, only up to three millimeters um, at road pressures. Uh, so that's what we're expecting. All right, let's get to stabbing. That was a beautiful stab. Okay, that's sealed. Oh, that was the same.
Okie dokie, so now we are now onto our fourth sealant. This is the orange seal. Stefan, what can you tell us about this one? Yeah, so this is a very regular sealant, and so it's um, recommended as being able to seal holes up to six millimeters in uh, diameter. It's got quite a shorter sort of like lifespan like within, uh, within the tire. It's recommended as lasting only between 30 and 45 days. Now, quite a lot of the sealants that we have here are uh, close up to six months, but uh, between 30 and 45 days is like notably on the short side. This really then comes with a bit of a high maintenance um, lifestyle. Um, in that if you're going to be have to changing it every month, month and a half, um, that's quite a lot of admin. Yeah, you'd really hope that it does seal because if you're having to change it um, just uh, yeah, as part of your maintenance schedule, you'd really hope that you're not also having to change it um, with the punctures uh, that you might be getting. So yeah, hopefully it does leave, live up to um, what it uh, reckons it can. Absolutely. Okay, there we go. Yep. And, ah, that's not doing. So next up we have got muck off and theirs comes in a pretty large bottle and I think they've got some pretty large claims. So Stefan, what are those? Uh, we've got like twin claims here. I okay. reckon that it can seal holes up to six millimeters in diameter. Okay. And it also reckons that it can uh, seal holes um, with pressures up to uh, 120 PSI. And now if it actually can seal six millimeters at 120, that would be incredibly impressive. I have a suspicion that it might be 120 for quite a smaller, smaller diameter and six millimeters for yeah more like, gravel pressures. But wow. Well, well, we're going to be putting it to the test. Well, this is it. And um, this one, I mean, we're running this at 70 PSI, so 50 below what it's saying its max is. So we should get fairly close to that six millimeters. Exactly. I oh, really hope so. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's do it. I did Nothing. Hit. Only just now. About 14, About 15 again. Spin. Hey! Hey! Oh, did it just wow. seal that? Wow! There we go. Bang! Okay, last up, we have got our final contender. We've got the Lifeline sealant. Now, is there much notable about this one? What can you tell me about it? The claims are a little bit more modest. I mean, it's significantly cheaper than the rest of the sealants that we have on test, but um, as a result, the claims are a little bit more modest. It's um, claims to seal up to five millimeters, um, which isn't like that much less than what the other sealants are claiming. Like yeah. that tends to be around six millimeters. And to be fair, it doesn't give a um, pressure range. And so uh, that's five millimeters. It might be up to, uh, 60, 70 psi, yeah. whereas the effetti sealant we had would only uh, go up to um, three millimeters for the higher road pressures. And so, um, yeah, five millimeters uh, punctures it uh, claims to uh, be able to seal and um, has a lifespan of up to about six months. Okay, great. All right. So, well, I think last one, let's, uh, let's start stabbing it away. Wow. Hey. There we go. Bosh. Ooh. Oh, get your eyes. I haven't got your safety specs oh, on. What are you doing? <laughs> So there we have it. We've tested all six and we've now lined them up in the order in which we think they performed. At the bottom, we've got orange seal. Why has that one performed worst? First thing I think is to say that it hasn't actually performed badly. It's just comparative to the other sealants here. And so its performance, I think, was actually uh, fairly respectable. It was able to seal holes uh, up to three millimeters in diameter and it sealed them pretty quickly as well. It uh, didn't take much more than a spin of a wheel before uh, those holes were plugged. So it was, yeah, it was quite effective. The reason why it's down at the bottom is because 
at that three millimeter point and like that three millimeter limit um, bursting when it gets up to um, four and a half. Um, that's the same with the next two. In terms of a puncture plugging, they've all been uh, pretty much of a likeness. And so the reason why the orange is down at the bottom is uh, because the life expectancy within the tire is between 30 and 45 days, which is really, really quite short. The fact that they claim something so short is really quite a stark contrast to the others. And when we move on to the stands, the issue that we found there was that it just poured out the bottom and yeah. we emptied the tire of it, which again, just didn't perform well. But that then was in contrast to the Effetto, which held on to it really well. And when we opened the tire up, it was still yeah. all on the inside. It had a very different consistency. It was quite viscous and yeah. Quite oily. Yeah, yeah. Um, which not necessarily a bad thing, but it just didn't really, they, none of these really performed that well and they weren't able to go to that four and a half mil screwdriver. Um, so that's why those ones are down at the end. I think the real performers actually come when we get to these top three, starting with the lifeline, which for me was a bit of a surprise, but talk us why, why, it's, why it's here. Yeah, I think that's actually the one that I'm most impressed by, even though it's um, only come third. It's the cheapest out of any of the sealants here by yeah, a fair way in the, some cases, but for that, it still managed to uh, get up to uh, ceiling holes of uh, four and a half millimeters, which is well, greater than the yeah, three below it. And so, yeah, quite impressive uh, just in and of itself and not even factoring in the price. But when you do factor in the price, um, yeah, it's really quite a compelling uh, sealant to be using. And especially at these higher road pressures as well. Absolutely. And then, well, for us, the muck off did really well. Um, I think, well, one, it sealed really quickly. It was able to get up to those higher pressures and we managed to get up to the five and a half in there, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, five so and a half. A pretty substantial screwdriver. So that performed really well, actually. I was expecting this to be a little bit further down. Yeah, what was it, doubly it, it surprising, well. I think, is um, the particles inside um, of, of the sealant. And so silk has made quite a lot of having its um, sort of carbon strands, almost these hairs that um, go into the hole and sort of like build up almost a bit of a barrier. Uh, I haven't heard um, off um, sort of uh, making the same uh, kind of claims in the way that the sealant performs in the way that the sealant actually works inside the tire but looking at the tire um, we could see the similar strands poking through which I think points to the reason why uh, the muck-off performed so much better like the actual sealant itself is quite different in kind uh, to the four below it absolutely um, and then when we get to the top dog the silka the newly released silka sealant that blew us away because one we were able to get up to that seven mil screwdriver and it still managed to seal it. Yeah, exactly. Still going up to 70 psi with yeah, a seven millimeter cut. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all. Our, yeah, screwdrivers didn't even go like large enough to um, get to the point that the silk sealant wasn't able to handle it. That's it. So, I mean, we've got a clear winner actually, and I'm really quite impressed. And I think this would make me consider running tubeless on the road. Um, seeing now how it's performed against the other more kind of common sealants, it's clearly outperformed them. It's not massively cheap, but it's about what you'd expect to pay for a premium sealant. But yeah, I thought that one preferred really well and uh, yeah I'll definitely give it a go. Now we did only test six sealants but I'm sure you guys use plenty more out on the road so do let us know down in the comments how you find they perform for you and what your favorites are. If you enjoyed the video drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content and we will see you again very soon.